Hello, it's time for Flashback, the weekly history quiz. Let's see what's happened in history. Uh, we're starting in 1608. An English traveler brings a handy utensil back home, the fork. It's first ridiculed and then adopted. Classic. Um, on a family trip, Edward Land takes a photo of his daughter who asks why she can't see it right away. He comes up with the Polaroid instant camera. That's a that's a pretty impressive that's a pretty impressive origin story. My daughter thought I should be able to do this, so I invented the technology to do so. Anyway, we'll put it uh, obviously well after the 17th century, 1943. There we go. Okay, Wyoming Territory allows the first female jurors in the U.S. Uh, oh, in the U.S. Stricter than male jurors, they're more likely to convict. Interesting. Um, let's put that in the 19th century. I, maybe 18. Yeah, it was 1870. Darius I of Persia creates an early postal system. Herodotus says neither s snow nor rain nor heat nor darkness can stop its speedy couriers. Wow, that's an amazing, uh, an amazing origin of that that creed, the whatever it is, the postal creed or what have you. Anyway, when do I think this is? I don't even know how to guess what this is. Well, I should just know when Darius, the, I realized I should have just known when Darius the first ruled. Anyway, it was 500 BCE. I should have thought about that for a few few more moments. Anyway, Madge Sires is the first woman to compete in the all-male figure skating world championship. Judges try to stop her, but can't find a rule against it. <laughs> Good for her. Uh, let's see. So when do I think that is? Hmm, after 1870, but before 1943? 1902. There we go. Jazz age dancer Josephine Baker debuts in Paris. Hemingway called her the most sensational woman anyone, anyone ever saw or ever will. Uh, Josephine Baker is an amazing figure. Um, she was also a, uh, she became a spy in the French resistance during the uh, Second World War. Um, so she was, uh, you know, an expatriate from the United States, but um, became involved in the French war effort. And then just a few years ago became the first, I believe the first black woman of any sort of national origin to become enshrined in the French pantheon of its kind of a burial site of its national heroes. I don't think her actual remains were moved there because her will stipulated where they, that she wanted them buried elsewhere. But, um, but yes, anyway, quite an amazing figure. Uh, anyway, this would be in the early, early 20th century, 1925. Uh, well, and it said jazz age, so there we go. Anyway, censors punish Romans who act immorally by marking their name on the census. It removed their rights, an early origin of censorship. Um, when do I think this would be? I mean, after 500 BCE, but probably just, you know, a few hundred years after that. Yeah, okay, actually less than a few hundred years, One about a hundred years, not, not even a hundred years after that. Okay, anyway, so I guess I got slightly lucky. I thought it would be more of a gap than that. A physicist, Ibn al-Haytham, solves a debate. Do eyes emit or receive light? Since the sun can hurt our eyes, he says, we must be receiving its light rays. Um, that's a really uh, sort of clean proof. <laughs> that's a really uh, straightforward bit of logic there. Uh, when do I think this is? Maybe the 10th century or something? I'm not sure. Oh, I was really close. I was really close. It was the 11th century, but early 11th century. So I was really on the, on the, on the money there, almost pleased. As the Incas rapidly expand their empire, which would stretch for 2,500 miles, they build Machu Picchu, perhaps as a royal retreat. Ooh, oh no. I'm much less confident about this. I'm going to say before, oh boy, when do I think this is? Before 1020, but after 443 BC, which is a pretty big range. No, I was wrong. It was 1420. I always feel so unconfident about, about uh, Inca timelines. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, interesting. Look at that. What a strange distribution. 28% uh, perfect. 28% with one to, uh, with one to four wrong and 28% with um, five to eight wrong. Interesting. Uh, and anyway, I was right in the middle of that, that particular distribution. Let's see what people tended to mistake. So a quarter of people misplaced uh, Ibn al-Hatham uh, and his um, I sort of logic. Uh, more than half of the people, like me, misplaced Machu Picchu. I really, 
need to to, to uh, get that straight in my mind. Um, and most of the rest of them were very, very much correctly placed. It was really Machu Picchu that was the big, the big error for people. And then, secondly, the uh, the eyes. All right. Well, there we go. That was another interesting week in history, and I'll be back next week with more of it. Back then. Bye for now.